Hello and welcome to Beer Tier, the German engineer. Today, we're back with freeways and we are once again trying to improve our score. So let's take a look at what that is currently. So we are at 45,492. And the last time around when we finally cracked the magical 35,000 number, we stopped at level 40. Level 41 is nothing, but level 42. Yeah, I definitely see potential for improvement there. So I would say let's just jump right into that and see what we can do. And here we are. Okay, so I built an extremely long bridge, two of them as a matter of fact, and some very chinky movements here. So maybe just a straightforward roundabout would be good enough for this map. Yeah, I don't think we have a hell of a lot of traffic. So let's just clear it and see how, what we can do. Alright, here we are. Let's try to build this roundabout. I think we're going to start down here. And we're going to come out of here at a pretty hard angle. We're going to come up along here pretty close to everything. Nick this corner, nick the other corner, and then come straight in. Just like that. And then instead of continue to build, we're going to come out of this one here. Once again, with a pretty hard angle, I'm gonna come around here and build a nice bend over to there. That was a little bit too far away, I believe. Let's see. That connected, I hope. Now we connect all those buildings here up. We're gonna connect the main road in on each side, of course. And then last but not least, we need to have a nice connection into here as well. So let's see what that looks like. Five hundred and forty-four. <laughs> oh my god, where did we start? I just cannot remember those numbers. This is insane. Holy shit, 544. We were somewhere in the 300s. Well, I take this here all freaking day long. Let's move on to the next one. And the next one is number 43. So right here. Let's see, how are those built around? Top one goes in... Top one goes in, top one goes in, bottom one goes in. So all of these. I wonder if we should build. Yeah. So if I just saw this motorcycle turn on the left side here. Let's see. This motorcycle should turn. Yeah, that's what's killing our score here. Maybe we can get a 500 here. And how we can get that? Yeah, I believe in a magic roundabout. Let's see if we can make that happen. Let's try this insane magic roundabout idea. Gonna come around here and build a circle. You're gonna go around here and build a circle. You're gonna go around here and build another circle, of course. We could use one more circle, potentially. That one more can never hurt, can it? <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna connect all of these here together. Just kind of like this here. Nice bends as smooth as possible. Come out of here. That's a little bit of a long connection there. I'm not sure if that's any good. But once again, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? That's usually how that works in my experience. And we're going to come over to here. And over to there. That should be the basic setup. And now we're just going to connect everything in. So the cars actually can move around. Since currently nothing is hooked up. And that should be that. Let's see what that looks like. Four hundred and eighty-six, and we unlock the picture. But I think we can do better than that. I am actually confident I want to break the five hundred. So let's do that. Let's try this again, and I think we need to have a little bit of bigger roundabout. So let's see if I can make it bigger and still have it somewhat round. We're here. The next one, all the way around, a little bit bigger. Not gigantic. Enormous, but just a little bit bigger. This one here almost killed us. Oh my goodness. And here, just a tiny little bit bigger. And once again, a tiny little bit bigger. And then we connect it all up. Just like that. 
Okay, wonderful. And now we gotta hook them all together. This one you need to come up and into there. And then we're gonna come out of here. Put a bend. This one here is now gonna be pretty nice because it's so close together. Just like that. A little bit of a longer connection on this side here, but it should still be okay. This one down here though, that is not good at all. This connection here is just horrible, but what can I do? Over here I can make it better, that's for sure. Here I need to come down and up, not good. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's going to work. And I'm proven wrong. <laughs> I am horribly proven wrong. I did not expect that whatsoever. So that's a 514. I knew we could make 500 plus. But this year, ah, I just did not like the layout, but it seems to work. So let's take a look at this picture we just unlocked. The magic roundabout of Swindon, UK is a roundabout of roundabouts. Look at all those arrows. Yes, that is the famous magic roundabout in the UK. Wonderful. And we just more or less recreated it. Just not quite as nice as I guess. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Wonderful. Oh, what is this here? An interview with Cherry Bellich who has driven around the magic roundabout. Oh my goodness. What is all this stuff here? Yeah, there's no way in hell that I'm going to read this right now. But I'm going to leave it on the screen long enough so you can pause the game, or better to say the video, and you can read it yourself. Okay, back to the map. That was 43. Let's check out 44. 199? Yeah, we have to be able to do better here. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, this connection right here all by itself. This insanity here. Look at this chanky mouse movement. <laughs> You're on the top. Oh my god. Okay, let's clear it out and see what we can do. All right. Let's try to take a logical approach to this. Step by step and very slowly. First of all, 20 south here. Wants to go to yellow. We're going to come straight out of here. And we're going to come straight into there. That is a given. That has to happen. Yellow. Needs to go to 20 north. Also, that needs to come straight out of here, up to there, and into there. That also is a given. And I think now that this road here exists, we should be able to uh, come with our 11 west straight across. That's our main road, yes, just as I thought. Bridge it right here, over there, and then just get into there. Um, 11 east and 20 north. So 20 north has a lot of traffic to over here. And I think we need to have some sort of diamond exchange in this general area here. How can we make that happen with what we have? That is the bigger question, isn't it? I think we can go with 11 east up to here and kind of bridge this area right there. Don't do that to me. I hope that still works. Yeah, it seems to be working. And then we're going to come up here. And from here, we're going to come straight down and into there. Something like that. And our 20 north here. I want to hook up all the way here in the back. May need a little bit more concrete, but it should help us out in the long term. 20 north also wants to go heavily to green. So right here somewhere, we need to come down with a bridge. Not the nicest bridge I've ever built, but it should work, I hope. As long as this here doesn't cause any trouble. Coming over here, back down, and then we are literally coming straight into there. Okay, so far, so good. What's next on the list? Now that all this is done, of course, 11 east. Up here, we're just going to extend the bend and hook it into there. That should work. Yes, it does. Very, very good. Next. Next is 11 east. It wants to go to yellow and to green. Yellow, we need to come out of here, I believe. And we're just going to bridge over here, come back down. And then we come all the way down here and connect it into there. And we may as well, while we are here, 11 West also wants to go there. I think the smartest way to come out of here is probably here. Not a hell of a lot of traffic. We're just going to hook that up to there. Something along those lines. What's next? 20 South wants to go up and into this diamond exchange here. So let's bring it into here. 
and then let's bridge it up come over back down and then we're going to come along here a little bit over to the side just a tiny little bit bridge back up over and back down and straight into there now we're going to build what we need to build which is this exchange right here as nice and smooth as we can kind of difficult space restraints are definitely a thing here um what else do we need yellow has no connection to anything so we need to come out of here and into there that completes our network but there's no way in hell that's already done is it let's run it yeah that's gonna jam on us <laughs> okay so that's not it let's see from yellow to blue so the yellows currently have to come all the way around here. Let's get rid of that issue by building a bridge right here. And then connecting it into there. That should get those cars here out of the way, I hope. Um, from 20 south, if we want to go to blue, we also have to go all the way around and then over to here. So let's build a little slip road right there. 11 west has the exact same issue when it wants to go to green. And that's a lot of traffic. It needs to come all the way around this diamond. We definitely want to avoid that. And to go to yellow, they have to come all the way along here. I don't think that's a good idea necessarily. And also 20 north here. We could give them their own road. How about that? We could do something like this here. We could come out of here. Build a bridge. Come back down and connect it into there. That is specifically for 20 north right now. But we can also come down here with our 11 west connect it just underneath and then build another bridge over i think the extra concrete here is warranted oh that's a horrible curve but let's see if that's any better makes a hell of a difference i would say and that's a 413 easy <laughs> uh probably could be even better if i would have not messed this one here up so badly but I'm happy with that. Let's move on. And the next one on the list is number 45. So we built this uh, halfway double exchange here with a score of 435. I'm sure we can do a hell of a lot better here. So let's clear this out. And let's see what we can do. So let's see what we got here. So we have a lot of traffic everywhere. Hmm. So my first thought was to build a roundabout here and a roundabout over here. But that may not work because we have too much traffic. Actually, it's definitely not going to work. There's way too much traffic here. So for example, 11 East here would have to come with for green all the way around until he can exit. That's basically three quarter around the, uh, the roundabout. And that would be true for almost every one of them. So that's not going to work. We need to relieve at least one of them. How are we going to do that? So we could go to 11 East here and just come straight out, build down to here and into there. How about that? And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to come straight out a little bit and then come straight up to here. And now we build a roundabout around this construction here. So we're going to come on to here, build up, come over, back down. And we come up to here, we're going to come once again back up and back down. And then we're just going to complete our roundabout. And we're going to do the exact same thing over here. We're going to come down. And a roundabout. Or not a roundabout. Ridge on the roundabout. Going to come around here. Up to there. Uh, bridge up. Over. And into here. That is the worst roundabout I've ever built in my life, I think. Oh my goodness. So let's build the slip road then. And see what this here actually gives us result wise at the end of the day that's what matters we're not here to win a beauty award even though it would be nice if it would look good though uh, all those slip roads that we need of course need to be built in and all the other connections need to be built in as well we're gonna come down to here out of right there and into there and we're gonna come over here we're gonna come out of right there and then nicely into there and let's simulate it And that's a 715. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, considering what this roundabout here looks like, 
I did not expect that at all. Like, not even remotely. Holy shit. Look at this insanity. Well, I mean, I'm not complaining. Let's take a look at the picture. This turbine interchange near Jacksonville, Florida keeps traffic flowing fast, but takes up a lot of space. Yeah, I remember when we looked at that. That is actually beautiful, but at the same time, yes, it does take up a lot of space. And probably a lot of concrete. I mean, you gotta build so high on all of those here. I mean, that's crazy. But, sure, Jacksonville, Florida, I'm not surprised about anything on that thing. So, back to the map. That was map 45. What about 46? Let's take a look. Okay, so we have a score of 385 and lots of bridges. Very long bridges. Let's see if we can come up with something better. I just assume the answer is yes, we're gonna try it. Let's clear it. And let's see what we got here. Nothing here. Not a hell of a lot there. Here's where the traffic's at. <laughs> here is also where the traffic's at. And here's where the traffic's at. Okay, so first of all, I think we're going to come down here from 11 East to 11 West. That one's more or less a given, because that's by far, well, it's not the biggest arrow, but it's a pretty damn big arrow. Let me put it that way. <laughs> then we need to come somewhat early out of here and connect it straight into there. Something like that. What else do we have? 11 West right here. So we can pick up all this crap here on the bottom with our 11 west and then we can bring it all the way up to hold on what about this one here where are we gonna put you you need to come basically straight over and then into here and this one here needs to be a bridge well wouldn't have mattered would it have yeah it probably wouldn't have mattered i don't see how that would make a difference but regardless <laughs> I was too worried that I have to do something with this road here before I finish all this here up. So now we have to bridge here instead of this way, instead of this way. Now that's okay. Shouldn't matter once again. So what else do we have here? From this road right here, we need to come off into here. So basically right there, I would think we need to come straight over. Oh, of course, we need to hook all this crap here up. There's no question about it. Pretty straightforward. So now what's missing? So you here have no way of getting over here. How will we build that? Let's see. Probably as easy as building a slip road right there. Yeah, that's what I would do. But we have no way of getting up there. How are we going to do that? Well, I think we can come out of here. Bridget. Are you gonna bridge it for me, please? Thank you. And into there. And that still doesn't complete it. What else is missing? Oh, of course. Let's see what that looks like. That's a 574. Holy cow. I take that all day long. Now, let's see where we stand. We are now at 36,505. <laughs> so yes, I have a feeling uh, that we are going to smash our uh, 37,000 goal in the next episode, but that's fine. That's fine. At this point, I'm not going to make any predictions anymore how high we can go. That is for sure, though, because, uh, yeah, under promise and over deliver. We're just going to try to go as high as we humanly can, and we will go from there. See how that looks like. But I think that is enough for today. So... If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below what could I have done better, what could I have done differently, what did you see that I could change. I'm always happy to hear from you. And with that I say thank you and peace.